What up, though? It's your boy, Roddy Rod, Big Business, and I'm here to talk about my ranking of the five seasons of the Marvel Netflix shows. So, all right, you got Daredevil Season 1, Jessica Jones Season 1, Daredevil Season 2, uh, Luke Cage Season 1, and Iron Fist Season 1. Now, just real quick, uh, I was late on these shows. I didn't get Netflix until last year. So, I pretty much binge watched, I did, in two weeks, I binge watched uh, both seasons of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, alright? I did them in order. Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Luke Cage, alright? Uh, for my birthday, early December, and I was done by Christmas. Sweet Christmas, alright? I remember that because I remember saying Sweet Christmas when I was on Luke Cage, because it was on Christmas Day. And then, of course, you seen probably see my review for Iron Fist. I was there right there on the first day for that one, all right? So, it's been kind of cool for me because I didn't have to wait those long gaps between, you know, the seasons and the shows. So, and I'm still, it's still fresh in my mind. I was able to watch them all at the same time and really see where you compare them. And now I'm ready for the Defenders. No, not next month, but in August, in about two months. I'm ready for it. All right, so while we getting ready for that, let's talk about these other five seasons. So coming in at number five, you know, with these uh, rankings, the one thing that usually happens is I agree with the bottom pick. And you know, it's Iron Fist. If you watch my review, I said enough in that, I believe. But pretty much, I was... This is the only one that didn't start off real high for me. All the rest of them started up really high. Jessica Jones, maybe less than uh, the Daredevils and Luke Cage. But this one had the lowest starting point. But I, I saw a promise in it. Going in, like, oh, I see the promise. And getting to see uh, episode six, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, I, and, but it never really peaked for me, all right? While the rest of them I have, you know, like a little up and then went down, this one just kind of stayed right there, you know, two, two, like two peaks, you know? So 13 hours of this, I haven't watched this again since. I don't feel the need to watch it again since. Um, I was disappointed in the action, being that this was Iron Fist, one of the, if, if not the, best martial artists in the Marvel Universe, so I was disappointed that the action didn't really live up to it, and it's just, you know, it was just nothing really special. I see he's getting a lot of hate, but I can understand that, considering that it is 13 episodes long, it's like, okay, if, if you're not feeling something, and you gotta sit through 13 hours of it, you're gonna you know, bash it more than it needs to be bashed. So, I understand that. So, for me, Iron Fist is number five. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched that. I only watched that once, and I haven't watched it again since. Like, the rest of them. Alright, so, number four. Now, number four and three was close. I had to really sit down and think, alright, which ones? Cause they both had the same problem, I believe. Whereas, the first half or so of the, se of the season was great. And I'm thinking, oh, this might be the best one. But then the other half, I'm like, okay, uh, it totally changes, you know, it's like, okay, this isn't the same season, like, you're doing too much, I, you know, I think these are the two that really could have been better had it been a shorter season, like Defenders is doing eight episodes, I think these two could have been that, so, for me, number four, Daredevil season two, two, this started off great, alright, with the Punisher on the action, and I will say, I enjoyed that fight scene on the stairway with the gun and the chain. I watched that so many times, all right? I, I went back and watched it like before I was done with the seeds. I, I kept going back to that. <laughs> I thought that was better than, you know, the hallway scene, which everybody loves. But I understand the hallway scene was first, and it was like over a year before, you know, a year earlier than this. So I understand that. As far as me, it was just like two weeks apart from seeing the hallway scene. Not even that. But yeah, the action, everything with Punisher was great. Everything with Punisher was in jail with the Kingpin. I thought that was great. But the Electra. 
and not like I didn't like it. It's just all right. See, like you're trying to do too much, and I understand they even try to bring it back around full circle with the end with the Punisher helping. It is not like I. Uh, it just didn't click for me though. I see what they tried to do. It might have clicked for some people. I guess it did because some people think this is better than season one. It's kind of a mixed bag, I think. But for me, I gotta get season one to edge on season two, and uh, I gotta put season two there. That would have number four. And number three is Luke Cage, which again started off fantastic. I saw this one, so okay. It this no, this is different. This is in Harlem. Of course, it's a black cast. Of course, you know it's more urban, and of course they gotta interpret. Of course, they gotta include the drug dealing into this aspect. Of course, so it's like I feel like I'm watching the uh, paid in full American gangster. You know, New, New Jack City, just, just like I'm watching a regular hood, you know, drug movie, hood drug movie. That's how I was feeling. All right, with the superhero in it, but, but at least I got a guy who's in, who can't be hurt. You know, bulletproof, and then. Uh, and then you got Method Man, all, the, all these songs. And I, I heard every title of every uh, season is named after, I think, a, a Gangstar song. Uh, I, I never really got into the title, so I can't think about it. But like, it was just it was a hip hop show, man. I love hip hop. So I was like, yeah, yeah. And I already knew that uh, Cotton Mouth died. I didn't know how he died. I was, I was fucked up. But everybody told me that he died. And that it's a new villain, and that's what it fell off for them. So I'm like, all right, I'll see. Uh, yeah, Cottonmouth was great. I know they got feel stupid for getting for killing him off because now he's uh, I, I still know how to say his name, uh, Marshall. I'm sorry, but he's a fucking Oscar winning actor now. So I know that ah, you fucked up on that one, Marvel. You fucked up, but and then when they got into the whole other thing, I can't remember my man's name, I'm so not interested in him. J uh, Hammer? J Jack Hammer? So I don't know. Uh, Hammer uh, what was? The, I don't know what Black Hair, I don't know what that guy's name was, but he didn't really do it for me, man. I thought it was kind of cringy, actually, <laughs> to a point where he was like, fool, I am your brother. Like, ah, that shit was cringe right there, though. You know, and I feel like that that probably been cool for like season two or something. I don't know, but I really feel like what Kyle Mouth was doing was great, and I enjoyed Shades too. Funny enough, I really thought Shades was a good character, but not the other guy, man. It's like I I know I like this whole untouchable aspect he had. Like you walk into a room with mob leaders, and you you still act like it's like you're untouchable. They're scared of you. Like come on, man. Is it is he that much of a badass, really? I guess, but anyway. Uh, Luke Cage and number three. That's all I gotta say about that. So number two was surprisingly for me, because it was the first start off. I'm like, man, do I really want to sit through this whole shit? But this got this one got better and better and better with every episode. Number two, Jessica Jones. All right, now coming off of uh, Daredevil. I'm like, okay, it, that was fantastic. So I'm starting this. I'm like, okay, this is not there. She's not a daredevil type of thing. One of the things I love about Daredevil season one was the action. So this doesn't seem real action heavy. She's not a martial artist. She's not doing this and that. She doesn't even want to be a superhero. But but it really picked up for me once Kilgrave got there. He was phenomenal, man. The thing about these Marvel Netflix shows is the, just the characters, man. The bad guys. Kilgrave was great. And I loved how it started getting to every episode where it ended different than where I started at. Like I see him at the, at the just, I see him at the police station. Okay, how long are we gonna be here? All right, in the episode. Okay, they end up at uh, Jessica Jones' old house. Okay, so next episode, I'm like, okay, how long are they gonna be living together? In the episode, she got him in this uh, glass cage. Oh damn. Okay, next episode, how long are they gonna be in this glass cage? Up. Oh. In the episode, he got old girl, uh, Hogarth. He got her like, okay, this is, this is just, every episode was just like, yes, it's, it's jam-packed, even though it's, it's different. And I'm like, dog, they're, they're really taking this thing out. Like, I, I don't know I don't know where it's going to end. I don't know how she's going to catch him. I don't know what's going to happen. It got to the point where they got old girl, and he got everybody else brainwashed, or, you know, mind control, getting ready for them to hang themselves. And 
he just shoots hope. Like, damn. So it got to the point where she, he was like, yeah. Oh, did, did she shoot herself? I don't remember. But it got to the point where she was like, yeah, yeah I, I think she did. Like, yeah, I'm done. I'm, no, good. You can kill him now. Kill this motherfucker. Kill this motherfucker, all right? And I was actually, like, I, I ain't gonna lie. It was a little anticlimactic the way she killed him. I'm like, yeah, she, like, this is episode 13. Like, he's gonna die. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kill him. Kill him. You got to. You can't no, walk around like this. All right, so it was a little anticlimactic, but as a whole, I really enjoyed it. I actually watched it two times, two and a half times, because I had to watch it with a friend, Missy, so she could see the end of it because she missed the end. So she came over and watched the rest. I watched it. I really enjoyed this, all right? I binge watched it. I told my mom she needed to watch it. I don't know if she did, probably didn't. But yeah, number two, Jessica Jones. And number one, if you haven't done the math by now, Daredevil season one. The first is still the best for me. Uh, I was really fell in love with this. I said, oh my God, they is killing this right now. This really made me take an interest in Daredevil. Yes, it reminded me of Batman, of course. Uh, a little bit. Because, you know, he's a guy running around in, at nighttime with a mask, kicking ass, you know. like. But... Man, it wasn't just Daredevil, though. It was just the cast, Kingpin. My favorite character, funny enough, was uh, Wesley. Uh, it was fucked up when he died. I knew he was going down. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's you and her in the room by yourselves. Nobody knows you're there. And you're threatening to kill her whole family. You're going to die. Like, you have to, like, you know. So, I, uh, I will say that none of the deaths were surprising to me. But while I was just watching this show, I'm like, Oh, this shit is really taking it there. My man's getting beat in the head with a bowling ball. Yeah, then he threw his own... And then he threw his own face through it. Like, killed himself. Kingpin slammed my man's head in the door. I watched that. I watched that shit episode so many times. Like, Kingpin slammed my man's head in the door to bust all open. Where's he getting the blow in his face? He's wiping it off. All right. Like, oh, this is... This is like the best... Thing I ever seen on TV. It was worth it. Well worth the Netflix subscription, man. Yes. All right. I could talk about there. That was season one all day. I I watched it at least three times. I think it's just three. I want to go watch it again now. But I watched that last episode too. That's nothing. Too. The last episode. Like all right now. You you been you you got you know you got to bring it home with this. And they, and they did for me. When it showed him. Finally, on the last episode, the fact that he didn't get his outfit to the last episode, I'm like, I fucked with this. I fucked with this show, man. That was remarkable. I watched it again before I even went to Jessica Jones. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, I should have been on that, all right? So Daredevil is my favorite character out of them, just because that season one was so phenomenal. But we really see what they're going to do with Defenders, because I heard that the director from a lot of Daredevil season 2 was going to be there directing the Defenders which is great because I feel like that has the best action Daredevil season 2 it just you know the two storylines is like too much for me so hopefully they can give Iron Fist some good action alright no shade I'm just saying so let me know in the comment section how do you rank these seasons if you've seen them you need to go see them all I mean you gotta sit through Iron Fist, man. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's really that bad. It's just not as good as the rest. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Big business. I hope.